Greetings from downtown Des Moines, Iowa. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I am so humbled, blessed to be able to come approach the midnight hour, Thursday into Friday, sharing prayer. And I will start with scripture. Luke chapter 9, verse 26. For whoever is ashamed of me and my words, of him the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in his Father's and of the holy angels. Father God, I thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor. I thank you for another day of living, Father God. I thank you for all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon me. Father God, I come to you in prayer Touch and agree with my prayer um, prayer partners, Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor, their 7 a.m. Um, weekly prayer call, Morning Glory Group, Shape Group, the Allen Family Group, Deacon Allen, as well as my home church, Cajun Baptist Church, their 6 p.m. daily prayer call, Father God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power. We thank you for the Holy Spirit and certainly invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer, Father God. We ask that you partner some of those things that we have done intentionally or unintentionally to offend thee, Father God. We want to serve you in a way that please you and that you are glorified, Father God. We want to share prayer and encourage others to try you for themselves, Father God. And for those of us who know you, Father God, I pray that we come closer to you and do and do the work that you have called us to do, Father God, not being ashamed. And um, I pray for those who have a broken heart, a bereaved heart, those in need um, of a touch mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Father God, we know just one word from you, one touch for you, Father God, can change any and everything. I pray also for our world leaders, Father God, to um, especially... Um, President Biden and his recovery. I pray for world peace. And we know that the situation between Russia and Ukraine is still happening. And I just plead your blood for peace, for peace, for peace, for peace. And I also pray for peace for the United States of America, Father God, and the senseless gun violence that's still continuing. I pray for all those who work law enforcement first responders, medical personnel, those in transportation. We all need each other and um, as well as the military people who are away serving, who are typically away from their family. We all need each other. I just pray a covering over them as they work and that you keep them safe. But you keep their mind stayed on you because you are the provider of perfect peace. Father God, um, this past couple of weeks have been such, such, such a blessing. I was able to meet a young lady as we were shopping for shoes and we had a discussion about church and she decided to visit church and we visited Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor and I'm so grateful we had a very warm welcome and the word was dynamic and I just thank you for that experience. As well as um, this past Sunday, I am so grateful that Pastor um, James McCarroll from Murfreesboro visited Detroit and he gave a sermon. He gave, he preached the word and I just thank you for that. And later on that day, my brother preached a sermon at God's house of prayer and it was just a blessing to be able to fellowship with family and friends and especially if those family members are, they share not only the blood of biologically, but also the blood of Jesus Christ and sharing the word that the precious blood that was shed on Calvary for all of our sins. I'm just so grateful for that. As well as on just on today, there was an instance in Ann Arbor when six little ducklings went down a drain and the Ann Arbor firefighters shout out to them, um, rescued them. And I'm reminded of 
um, uh, the teaching preaching that I heard from Minister Joel Wright Terry, who said that um, it was a story and somehow other people went by, but it was someone down in a hole. And then this person called out and Jesus went down there. So I, I was reminded of her preachment, her teaching preaching when I saw the little ducklings that Jesus, thank you for reaching down, coming down to get us and to be with us, but more importantly, to help us get out of any situation, Father God. I just thank you for that word from all of those who preach, all of those who are sharing the word for kingdom building. I thank you for my home church, uh, Senior Pastor Greg Foster. I just thank you for all of the kingdom building that's going on. And we ask a special covering over our youth. Um, Please keep them covered and let them not be ashamed of you, Father God. I just pray that they will not be ashamed of you. Not only for the youth not to be ashamed of you, but for us adults not to be ashamed of you. That it starts at home, but it doesn't end at home that we ought to share your word, but more importantly, share your love. Even when we can't talk it, we should be able to walk it and people can see. I just thank you for, again, this job that allows me to travel around and share prayer. And um, a couple of things on the prayer list, the weather, I just pray for all of those who are affected by the heat as well as those affected by the flood that we as people can draw close to help each other as um, things happen, that we will look out for each other. And still COVID is still lurking around for people to be protected and to just be more careful and prayerful. We all need each other. And, and I hope that someone who's hearing this right now know that you don't have to do this by yourself that Jesus will reach down and pick you up. You are never too low. And just get connected to a Bible teaching, preaching church. Reach out to some community resources, but do not go it alone. I thank you for the LinkedIn platform and the YouTube platform for allowing me to share this prayer. And um, if I forgot anything, Do not charge it to my heart. I intercede um, in prayer and I pray with various prayer groups. And God knows. He knows you can call out. But if you need anything, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. But or leave a message um, on this platform. I thank God. I bless his holy name. I'm so grateful and And if you look around, find something to be grateful for. If you take on a breath, thank God for that breath. And in closing, he left us in peace. So I would say peace in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen.